Hello, it's me again. Yep, we're doing another video. Today we are going to talk about proportional equations. So again, make sure your name is at the top of the notes. And your job is to be able to write equations to represent proportional relationships. This is super important because we're going to start graphing them, so you need to know this stuff. So your key concept here is proportional relationships can be represented by this equation. Y equals KX. Do you remember yesterday, in order to find the constant of proportionality, we took Y and divided it by X, and that gave us the unit rate or the constant of proportionality. So in other words, it equaled K. Believe it or not, K stands for constant of proportionality. And it's funny because it's a K. Oops, I better spell it right. Proportionality. It's a K, and yet you'd think it might be a C, but apparently the K is for constant, which is the German version. So now you just learned some, ver some, some German. Okay, so let's look at this equation here. The X is the input. Another thing, another way of describing an X is the independent variable. Independent, oh my gosh, my spelling is atrocious. Variable. Okay, make sure you spell it correctly. The K is the constant of proportionality. And the Y is the output or dependent variable. You're going to learn about this a lot next year, so make sure you're paying attention this year. Dependent. Dependent? <laughs> Did I spell that correctly? Dependent. I guess it's eight. Oh my goodness, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna scroll down. Um, in order to do that, I guess I have to click this. And here we go. So now we're going to do a little bit of practice. It says, using the table, we're going to find y over x. And if you remember from yesterday, you're going to take any points. And I'm pretty sure that bottles are the x or the independent variable. The money earned is the y or the dependent variable. So we are going to set y equal to 40 cents. And the bottles equal to 4. And it looks like our unit rate would be 1 is 10 cents. Okay? So the way we write our equation today is y equals, I'm going to put it in parentheses so you can see it best, times x. What this means is no matter how many bottles I buy, I multiply that by 10 cents, and that's going to give me my total cost. That's what that means. It's pretty basic, but it's, it's hard to think about it sometimes. So what if we have a graph? Let's locate the point 1R. Now we know from yesterday that this point is the unit rate or the constant of proportionality. So this is one way for us to figure it out. Now if I just look at this, I know that the 1 corresponds to 10 cents. So again, I write y equals, oh, whoops. 10 cents times x. That's all we're doing. We're just writing the equation. This says identify the unit rate. For each plastic bottle that Zach recycles, he earns 10 cents. We write it again. Y equals 10 cents times the number of bottles I buy. So let's just re re refresh your memories here. X is the number of bottles. Y is the total cost. Or the, oh, I'm sorry, money earned. I said that wrong. So every time he recycles, he earns 10 cents for each bottle. Okay, I'm going to scroll down again. Ah. You're on the back side, I believe. Okay, so now we're going to try a whole bunch of problems. Proportional equations. 
determine the constant of proportionality and write an equation in this form. It's just what we did before. We're going to just practice a little bit more. So we don't know. There's no 1 here in the x column. So we're going to have to use y divided by x first to find our k. And in this case, I'm going to just use the first row. So I have 14 over 2, which equals 7 over 1, or just 7. So this means we have y equals 7x. That's our equation. Another way to say it is each movie ticket, one movie ticket costs $7. That's really the bottom line here. In number two, we have our graph. This does not show us a 1, so we also have to use y over x first to find our k. All right, pick any numbers. I'm going to pick 2. Remember, this is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. When I pick the 2, it corresponds to 8 in the y. So I'm going to put 8 on top, 2 on the bottom. When I simplify this, I get 4 over 1. That means k is 4. So I write my equation y equals 4x. That's all I need to do. On the third one, Joe walked two miles, or six miles, sorry, in two hours. This is our y, this is our x. We do y over x first. We have 6 over 2. This equals 3. Oops, 3. So to write my equation, I write y equals 3x. Make sure you have all the notes. I'm going to scroll down. And our last problems here. Remember, if we don't know the unit rate, we have to use y over x. And they didn't tell us the unit rate here. But it says Jasper bought eight markers. However many you buy, that's the independent or the x. And this y is the total cost. So we put 10 over 8. Well, that doesn't look like a nice, easy problem to solve. I'm not sure why that's not coming out well. This is 5 over 4, which is really 1, oh, 1.2, I believe. Check me on your calculator. So it looks like that should be $1.20 per marker. So we would write y equals $1.20. Everything's slow. They already labeled our x and y columns here, but we don't know our constant of proportionality, so I'm going to do y over x again. Pick any two values in here. <clears throat> in, this, in this case, I'm going to do 15 over 21. Oh, you might want to grab a calculator on this one. Um, I think I'll just simplify first. If I divide both the top and the bottom by 3, I get 5 over 7. Ooh, it sounds like a yucky number. Uh, let's see, 5 divided by 7. Ooh. This is a number that will go on and on forever, so I'm going to just go out to the thousandths place. And the way I write my equation is y equals, oh my gosh, why is this so slow? 0 0.714. I think it's my computer. I think my computer is dying. Times x. One more to get through. We've got to get through this. Oh, no. <sighs> one more. Please get through this. Oh, this is a nice, easy one. Look what our unit rate is, or a constant of proportionality. That's where they meet. It's 16. Oh, see my frozen? See if you can write the equation while you're waiting for my pen to be unfrozen. It should be y. Uh, y equals 16x. You're going to have to do it on your own. I think my computer is officially done. Awful. Mrs. Pearson's laughing at me. <laughs> ah! Can you write on the whiteboard? Will it pick it up at all? Nope. Oh.